Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to cover three budget 2v2 comps that are actually playable, unless you're at high infamy, of course, but these are intended for beginners to get into 2v2s and are effective, but most importantly, cheap. All of these are below 200k, so you don't have to waste all your money trying to learn the content. So these you want to run if you're inexperienced. Now, as you improve and get better, obviously, you can improve, you can upgrade the comps and the builds and we'll cover the possible alternatives and possible upgrades as well. For each comp, we'll have a fast guide and a sample quick fight, but also at the end of the video, I'll have some extra clips. But yeah, just so you can get an idea of how things work. Again, I'm not going to pretend this is an easy 100% win rate build, whatever, right? I'm not going to bullshit you guys. You will lose a bunch, probably, especially if you're not experienced, but it is budget friendly and it is effective and it can work. Also, I will probably do a follow up video if there's enough interest with more meta options, showing off different matchups and going a little bit more in depth, like a gameplay tutorial oriented rather than just showing off these cheaper builds. So subscribe and uh, leave a like if you're into that. All right, so we have three comps. Two of them are healer DPS and the third is double DPS. In case you're a new player and wondering, then yes, healer plus DPS is meta. You can make double DPS work, but in general, if you want to climb an infamy and have a high win rate, high consistent win rate, having a healer is the way to go. First comp we got is one handed holy plus dagger pair. On the left, you can see the budget version, and on the right, the more expensive meta version. Now, I think Death Givers is just better than Dagger Pair, but again, that's more expensive, so yeah. Overall, pretty simple playstyle though, versus one shots or double DPS, you just want to cycle and use your defenses accordingly. If the Dagger Pair user is using a hood, you can swap to Cleanse as well versus one shots, or stay on Reflex versus double DPS if you're using Hunter Hood. If you're up against a Claymore, then stone skin is recommended that's another defensive that did get buffed recently by the way you can cycle because the claymore is most likely going to focus you as the healer otherwise you pretty much always go for the emergency shield which also got buffed basic game plan is try to get three stacks poison ew is what you want to go for don't hesitate to use your shoes just to stick on top of your target to keep up the stacks refreshing sprint is also viable you don't need to use the dash and make sure to use the Holy Blessing from your healer offensively as well. Put it on your DPS when they go for a combo so they don't get bopped away. I highly recommend swapping W depending on the matchup by the way. Shadow Edge versus one shots to catch. Forbidden Stab versus healers. And honestly, Chain Slash isn't bad versus double DPS. It's also an iframe. So that means you're invulnerable during the W which can be used to avoid certain damage or CC spells. If you want to take this comp to greater heights, I recommend going the Royal Cow Carlin Cape setup and obviously Robe of Purity instead of Fiend Robe. This set is way more expensive, but should be better overall. For the DPS, I personally think Death Givers is slightly better and more flexible than Dagger Pair, but both are solid. Fiend Cow is definitely the meta choice. You can purge defensives like Mage Robe or Holy Blessing, Frost Shield, whatever, right? right before pressing E, or just to purge stuff defensively, like if an enemy curse uses Grudge, or if an enemy Claymore uses Cultist Sandals and is about to E your healer, or just to purge the healer's mana, again, very flexible in how you use it, very situational. Most healers at High Infamy play with Royal Cal, so that's also a thing. There's a bunch of options, I've seen Dagger users on Carlion Cape as well, just to get double Q procs faster. And yeah, but Thetford is probably more consistent. Cultist Sandals is a must for sure. Really strong, especially on melee DPS. But another alternative is Royal Sandals. They are not horrible and it gives you an unpurgeable mobility option. But again, longer cooldown and you're all vulnerable during the toggle. Yeah, I would recommend Royal Sandals on something like a one handed curse, which is another. DPS option you could play a budget. But let's move on to 100 Holy and Claymore. This is another healer DPS build that's pretty cheap. Again, no artifact items. And the idea is to interrupt as many of the enemy healers Qs as possible. You have a Hull on the hood and interrupt on W. And now admittedly, this requires some practice. So I recommend you duel your partner in a safe area, of course, to get some practice. But basically you win by applying pressure and interrupting Qs on the enemy healer. The more consistently you can do this, 
the more pressure you're going to build up and you can get a kill that way. This setup is way more reliant on almost always going for the enemy healer, unlike the previous setup which relies more on killing the DPS usually and separating them from the healer with, for example, Fiend Rogue. Against melee matchups, you usually want to queue their melee and then try to turn on the healer. Communicate with your holy to give you a holy blessing so you don't get knocked away when you get pressure. Don't hesitate to use your boots or even E just to stick on top of the healer. Now obviously combo your E with your poison and you'll be fine. This is a very effective comp, especially at low infamy. In this setup, mage robe on the healer is even more viable by the way, since you're not going to be separating the healer from DPS as much. But fiend robe is still okay, just as a defensive option basically, but versus good teams, they will use holy blessing on their DPS and your robe will be not very useful there. Against other comps such as one shot you can swap to cleanse on your hood which is nice to have obviously and you can go splitting slash to help you catch them. Against double DPS howl is not bad especially if they're playing the comp we're going to showcase next otherwise if they have anything that's worth cleansing you can just stay and cleanse obviously. The healer playstyle will be slightly different in the sense that as opposed to playing with a dagger per death giver which can kill the enemy DPS and you'll mostly be just chilling trying to save your DPS. With this setup though, the Claymore is just gonna chase the enemy healer and for the most part the enemy DPS will be free to hit you. So in general you'll need to make sure you don't get healing sickness and that you'll be able to heal your partner sometimes to reset it. The info that you see on the screen right now might not be exactly accurate since the wiki is usually outdated but this is pretty much how self-healing sickness works. But yeah, Claymore pretty solid and not really anything I would recommend to swap to be honest. This build is pretty much set in stone, it's just solid overall. The meta option is pretty much the same as the previous meta option we showed, the one for death givers, just different weapon. And with that version you lose out on one interrupt, it's more of a one shot slash bursty version obviously as you can see you don't have the howl and also you don't have cleanse so it's slightly less versatile. but. It is the meta option. You can still apply pressure interrupting with just your W and pairing your E with your cultist sandals and a poison. That's a lot of damage. And last but actually kind of least I guess we got double brawler gloves. The idea is you just run in, you pop your whole combo, you spam your spells, then clear group assassin it and do it again. Hopefully you kill someone. No, no, no. As soon as you're in range, just assassin shoes and uh, WE. But the idea is the enemy gets knocked up, gets stunned, they eat a lot of damage. Uh, you go and you basically full commit and you either kill or you lose. Obviously you don't have a healer. The fight ends quickly. That's the upside. But yeah, this doesn't work that well versus competent teams though. And especially versus any range DPS, you're going to struggle hard. Especially demonic. I'm not going to go over this one in too much detail because well it's not meta for a reason but it's a nice cheese build you can try out but yeah that's pretty much it for the comp guides i'm sure i missed something but it is what it is my last tip before we get into the clips would be to join the hellgate hub discord which is the largest hellgate discord at the moment if you're new and need help with anything related to hellgates posting there will be the fastest way to get help next we got a bunch of clips of different matchups with comms on, so hopefully you'll benefit a little bit from seeing these builds in action. Make sure to check the YouTube chapters if you want to see any specific matchups. Okay, you can roll. What? Yes, I can roll, but if. But he wasted everything, he wasted everything. Okay, Guardian Helmet, it's okay. Yeah, Guardian Helmet, me for this. Come? Then yes. Okay, you're fine, you're fine. It's fine, you're fine. Go. Okay, you wanna reset? Or no? Yeah. Okay, go reset. Careful yourself. I'm gonna I can't, I can. Here, bro. That's fine. Oh! <laughs> what happened? You can, you can oh, they doubled up. Start stacking you with E. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna purge with the first one, okay? Yeah. We just cut the first one. Oh, what? I give you a double. Hide, hide, hide. Hide the person. It's okay. I may drop. It's okay. I may drop. Uh -huh. He has no shoes either. 
It's okay. Oh, they, okay, I'm going on healer here. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I can give you W. No? Maybe it was too early. It's okay. I'm gonna press it. Yeah. I can. G I will give you Garni helmet. Okay. Then my W free. Nice. I have mage drop for next one. You're not ready, I guess. Okay. In five, I will finish it. Okay. I mage drop here. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna kill on this one. Oh, nice, nice. Let's go. Okay, that's yeah. here. That's a fucking weapon. I'm gonna. Oh, I did a cleric <laughs> What happened? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Declamp. You need to. We need to be declamp. I'm fine. You're fine, okay, now go. You rest spotted? Yes, bro, I was dying. Bro, that's so much damage still. Okay. Okay, I'm fine, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, they can't kill me. Okay. Yo, 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 no? chill! You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, go, 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 it's I fine, I'm baiting, I'm baiting, I'm baiting, it's fine. Okay, go. I give you the oh, fuck, bro. You why you run east? I give you W. Easy, easy, nice easy. One. I, I respond. I'm good. 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 i Okay, yes, keep going, keep going. Give you a W? Yeah, yeah, easy, easy. But careful, careful. Uh. Oh shit! I don't have Resi, yeah. by the way. Yeah, but you have Core. Okay. He true. don't have stun. He don't have mana. Okay. I mean, he's regening, bro. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let him, let him, let him. I'm gonna go on this guy. Okay. okay. Look at this now, look at this, he just funny. Bam! Bro, you fun. Nice, nice, nice. Oh bro, they whiffed, they whiffed. Alright. <laughs> it's not. He silenced me? I'm not gonna use shoes. But he's in, stuck in lava. Yeah, yeah. Other guy is dead already. I'm gonna give you a W. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, take care of yourself, okay. What? I'm fine, I'm fine. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna respot. Yeah, yeah. I respot it, I'm good. Careful, they're gonna go again on me, maybe? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. You're they fine, nice roll. Yeah, I have everything. I, I have another roll. Come okay. to me, come to me, come to me! I need to eat you. No, I'm fine, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Nice. Nah, it's okay, I'll stay major. Maybe a cultist sandals. Okay. He will kind of you. I'm just uh type leashing this text. Yeah. Okay, you wasted mid room. Nice. Yeah, nice. It's... I pushed it. Uh, uh, I need to cut. I need to cut. I need to cut. I'm it's coming okay. to you. Yeah. You have a guardian helmet, right? Yeah, yeah. Use it, use it, use it. Nice. Careful. Nice. Give the W. I'm gonna cross, I cross this. Okay, careful. Oh, nice, 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 nice,
I've got no. in two sec as well, so it's okay. Nice. I give you a W. I can watch that DPS. But wait, wait, no, no, no. Okay, I'm, I'm good, yeah? Yeah, you're fine. I have W and I have E in a sec. Okay, fuck. You're fine, you're fine. Oh, nice, nice. I don't have W. Oh, fuck, yeah, that. Okay, okay, nice, nice cons, nice cons. They don't have mana. But me neither. Man, also. I think, I think we made it, bro. I... <laughs> w, uh, oh my god, perfect nice. W. Nice. And that will be it for this budget 2 to Hellgate's comp showcase slash tutorial type of thing. If you enjoy this type of content, do leave a comment. Maybe I'll make a more advanced version. Maybe I'll do one for different contents, maybe 5v5s, whatever. Putting this together and getting the clips took a lot of time, especially the infographics you saw earlier in the video. So do leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content, and I hope you have a good one.